Hey, it's Jeff Bolton here. Uh, I filmed aboard the B2 Stealth Bomber for the first time in history. Wanted to show you a cockpit tour and also a complete aerial refueling uh, start to finish. Uh, we'll begin uh, going to the jet and then in the pre-contact position uh, and our pilot uh, to give the tour, Major Wolf Anderson. Okay, we're rolling. All right, so uh, welcome to my office. This is the B2 Stealth Bomber. And this is the first time in probably 30 years since the beginning of the program we've been able to bring cameras in the cockpit. So, beautiful view here above Whiteman Air Force Base. Just as a quick cockpit tour, I've got our gear handle here, that's how we can raise and lower the gear. I've got three multi-function displays, and the other pilot sitting over there has three as well. Standard indications for airspeed, altitude, and pilot. I can configure those how I need to uh, for each phase of flight. And then we've got a major to the B2 here, an engine display that's all digital glass, and then a manual fuel control panel down here. Each pilot has a normal stick, they're both linked together, and then we each have four throttles to operate the four motors. Okay, so uh, now we're going to begin the aerial refueling uh, portion uh, of the film. I'm going to uh, give this to you uh, over the top of watching Wolf uh, tank the jet here on a KC-135 because uh, he's a little busy, as you can see. Uh, three checklists right there. The first thing you see, one on each uh, kneeboard and then another one in the center console. Uh, we are, in again, in the pre-contact position here. You'll start to see that pretty soon. So even at this distance from the jet, uh, you'll notice that his hands are already very busy, and you're seeing him put his oxygen mask on there because uh, you got to be on oxygen when you're tanking in the event we had an emergency breakaway. Uh, we would need to be on oxygen, so we both uh, both were in this sequence. So now you get your first good look at the jet. You can still see the wingtips of the jet, uh, but it, it's going to start getting closer uh, through the windshield. You'll see that in just a moment. A few things to notice, uh, visual clues. Uh, down the middle of the KC-135, you see a long yellow stripe there. Uh, again, one visual reference among many that you're going to see. You see the refueling boom itself coming out the back of the airplane. Uh, and little winglets, or what are called rudder vaders, are coming off uh, of the boom itself. It says Kansas Coyotes. Uh, we tanked uh, with the 190th refueling wing based in Topeka, Kansas. Uh, they came over and met us in the Truman MOA where we were flying uh, to do this refueling sequence. So uh, you're starting to notice the jet get a little bit bigger uh, through the windshield here, and you'll start noticing the boom coming out. On the boom itself, just below the rudder vaders, uh, you can see it's, it's multicolored, it's bright. Uh, almost a rainbow or a fluorescent type of a, of a material that's around the boom. So you've just got a visual reference against the sky or the jet uh, as it's coming closer to you. Uh, again, look at the tips of the, of the windscreen now. I'm not altering my focus. That is the jet getting really, really big. Uh, and you'll notice, too, that the boom is about to pass overhead. In the B-2, the refueling boom is I want to say about six feet, maybe eight feet behind uh, where we were sitting in the uh, pilot and mission commander seat. So you'll see me swing here in a sec because you lose sight of that boom. I want to give you some more of the visual references here. At the front of the KC-135 of the Iron Maiden, on the left you see down and up. On the right you see fore and aft. That is them giving Wolf visual representations for him to continue to creep forward to get in the perfect position where the boom operator can guide that boom into the refueling septicle on the jet. Uh, and then you saw the up down there as well. Uh, so I turn back over to let you see Wolf's hands here because this is, this is remarkable. So you have these two huge airplanes uh, throwing off, of course, all of the air around them. And the bow wave that comes off the KC-135 is hitting the B-2. So it's trying to force us out of position and bouncing us around. And we were in weather that was pretty, uh, pretty nice, as you can see, uh, and well-rested. Uh, imagine trying to tank like this on a 30-hour uh, mission. Notice his hands here. Uh, you can see the stick movement because they're tied together, stick and throttle on both sides. Just look at how much and how many inputs he has to have uh, just to get us into position to receive uh, the boom, the tanking receptacle. Uh, a really and truly an incredible feat of airmanship. It was very impressive to watch and film uh, and to be a part of when you see exactly the concentration level that it takes. That, that's another thing I would tell you is when you look into, into Wolf's face and into his eyes, it's, it's an unbelievable amount of concentration. You can see in the instrumentation here, we've leveled out. Uh, we were in a turn in a couple of different sequences. 
uh, by now you look up and uh, yeah, we're tanked and it is close. It, it's so close. It looks like uh, you could touch the other jet. I could see the boom operator. I could see his eyes clearly. And I give you a couple of different views here so you can understand exactly how intimate it is with these two massive aircraft flying this close together. Uh, it's really shocking. Here's how we know we plug successfully. Uh, you see the, the fore and aft is in the center position. And then the up down uh, is, is also in the center position. I, I think I come back in and grab it again. We grabbed some other footage, not on our tank, but of another tank that day. So you can see what it looks like from, from the perspective of the, of the 135 guys. Uh, that's the receptacle there. Of course, coming out, you see a little bit of fuel spray and then back to the pre-contact position. Uh, this is us coming back to the pre-contact position. And then of course you cycle this multiple times. Uh, just to get some practice. It is an incredible thing to see first time in history inside the B-2. Wanted to close out this video with a, an iconic view down the right wing, the intake right there, and a T-38 off to the side. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed this. Um, if you like what you see, uh, go to the website below, jeffbolton.org, uh, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.